Hi, my name is Brian and I'm a consultant here at Rotive. We help small businesses automate their processes and we're an official partner with Salesforce. Today, we're going to talk about record types in Salesforce and specifically, what are they? So a record type is an advanced feature in Salesforce that lets you create uh, extra distinction between types of a specific object. So let me give you an example. Let's say you are a marketplace and you work with two different types of accounts in your system. You have buyers and you have sellers. Well, record types allows you to distinguish between the two, and it also allows you to assign different page layouts. So you can just include the relevant fields or data for buyers versus sellers. You don't have to show everything to everybody all the time. Another benefit of record types is it allows you to control access. So let's say you have a sales team that just works with buyers and a sales team that just works with sellers. Well, record types can let you control which people can access those different types of records or even create those different types of records. Another good example would be with opportunities. You know, lots of companies have new business opportunities and renewal opportunities, or they sell to the private sector and to the public sector, and they might have very different sales processes as, as a result. So in our case here, we've got an opportunity that has the record type of new business, and we have a whole bunch of stages, needs analysis, value proposition, so on and so forth. But if you look at this opportunity, it's actually a subscription renewal opportunity. And so we have it set as the wrong record type currently. So I'm just gonna change the record type here. And it gives me the option to switch from new business to renewal. If you had additional record types and you had access to those, then you'd have more options here. I'm just gonna click next and save. And now we've got the same record, but we've changed the record type. And as a result, we have a very different sales process that's being presented to us. Uh, and potentially we could have a very different page layout here as well. So when it comes to using record types, just think of it as a way to further differentiate records within an object. So you don't have to create another custom object. I hope that helps. And if it did, please hit the like button. If you'd like more how to's and explainers about Salesforce and Pardot, then click subscribe. And if you'd like help automating your processes, feel free to reach out to us at hey at rotive.io. Thanks for watching.